Is that all right? Am I doing all right? Okay. <laughs> My name is Gage. I've been playing football since third grade. I play tackle on the offensive line. I got hurt 23 plays in to my junior year. So I just felt the pop, a lot of pain and swelling. I couldn't put any weight on my leg. I thought it was just a sprain. I kind of couldn't move on it. Uh, it was a little scary. Went, got an MRI, came here. They told me it was torn in half completely. I felt devastated. I actually shed a few tears. It felt like I was letting a bunch of people down that were counting on me uh, this season. So I essentially missed the whole year. That was definitely tough. So when he came to see me, he had a extreme pain, difficulty ambulating, had the classic mechanism for an injury during a football game. This is a kid who's got four or five division one schools looking at him for a scholarship. Now he's looking at the potential of not playing his junior year, losing that exposure time. I try to spin a positive on it. I try to tell him, we're gonna to try to make you better than you were before. And you just try to encourage him that they're gonna come out better on the other side. We typically like to wait three to six weeks prior to surgery. So I like to get them in therapy, get their muscles working again, get their range of motion restored. Once they're completely rehabbed, three to six weeks and ready for surgery, that's when it's time to consider taking them for the operation. The most important component to the patient's recovery and outcome is certainly the physical therapy team. The physical therapy team spends three times a week for these patients for sometimes three to six months uh, and is really the most critical factor to how well a patient does post-operatively. Transitioning from walking to running and then I could sprint and then cutting. Luckily I had a good team around me, good trainers, good, good staff at our school and not to mention Dr. Kern and his staff. He had good recommendations for what kind of surgery I should have, not just sports specific, but also position specific, what kind of graft I should get in my ACL replaced and up to now, it's done really good for me. Down. Ready, set, go. It takes soft tissue a year to heal. It takes a kid a year to get over an ACL injury from not only the psychological standpoint, but also just from the physical standpoint of it. So to finally get to the end point where they're actually back on the field and you're seeing articles about them in the paper, or you're seeing them making the local news, it's great when they get back on track. I am extremely proud and happy for Gage for the way he's handled this whole situation. From day one, he handled it like, I'm going to get back and play Division I football. That was his goal and he knew that was going to happen. He's better now than he was before he got hurt and I'm convinced that he'll have a very successful career. Thanks to the Orthopedic Institute, I'm back on the field and I feel complete again.